Hi, my name is Mark Patterson and I'm with GoMeasure 3D. And today we're going to be talking about a few different settings in FlexScan 3D. Um, we're going to be talking about the EasyScan setting, the HDR setting, the high sensitivity setting, and auto exposure scanning. Um, so to start off, we're just going to do an easy scan, and this will take a minute or so. And what the easy scan is going to do is it's going to um, essentially take a series of images in order to determine the best exposure for the part that you are trying to scan. And then from these uh, series of images and settings that it's trying to figure out, it's going to determine if it needs HDR scanning. Um, HDR scanning is high dynamic range. Um, so it's a special scanning process that's designed for scanning high contrast objects that are uh, very dark and very bright in certain areas. Um, so this part, my classic Triceratops, has been uh, determined to be a high dynamic range uh, scan because it got checked off there. And as you can see, it did a really great job of grabbing um, this profile of my Triceratops. Um, so you can either do a full easy scan, which is pretty much what I just did, and it'll take care of all the settings for you, or you can just do a regular uh, HDR scan where it'll determine, um, take a series of images and determine an exposure range to do it in. Um, so I'll do one of those next. <clears throat> And it's going to go through and take these series of images and um, kind of take them all at different exposures. As you can see, there's a range. So it'll take one at the lowest exposure, a couple in between, and one at the highest um, to gather all this data and then compile these scans together in order to create the best, um, the best amount of data. So as you can see, did another really great scan even got that eye that I think we missed in the last one. Yep. Um, so then the next thing you can do is a high sensitivity scan, which allows the scanner to capture more noisy areas. Um, this isn't a great example, but um, more noisy areas would usually be like hair or fur or something with a lot of texture that would otherwise be hard to pick up. Um, and then the last thing you can uh, toggle off and on is an auto exposure setting, which will determine the best exposure uh, to scan your object at so um, you, know, you don't have to play around with it. So it'll take a series of images again and figure out the best one and come up with a range. Um, and it'll toggle on the HDR uh, because if it's a multicolored part, it'll have multiple um, exposures it'll want to go through. Um, but you can always just toggle it off, and it will choose the lowest exposure setting uh, from that range. Um, so that's it. For more information, uh, please feel free to visit our website at www go measure 3d.com and go to our contact page. Thank you.